Whatever happened to the founder of modern television? Tonight, we answer that on E True Not True Story. John Logie Baird. One day in the early 1900s, an engineer named John Logie Baird had a brilliant idea. What if you could view stories and people on a box monitor right inside your own very home? home. A whole new world of possibilities opened up that day. Great Scott! I got it! This will be the future. This is this. It will change the world. I have a vision. No. I have a television. And so that day, John Wilkie Bear created an idea as easy as packing a picnic basket. Behind the curtain, though, things weren't all sparkles in John Logie Barrett's life. His little brother Pooh was born with a rare condition, which made him look just like a bear. He was being caught in a low drug abuse, which is why John Logie Barrett went into the TV business in the first place, so he could make money to save his little bro. After all these years of caring for Boo Boo, John found he was slowly turning into a bear himself. He was catching whatever condition Boo Boo was born with. Despite this, however, he continued his work in TV. Despite the fact that he now had poles, unlike everybody else, in the TV station. The year is 1928, and John Logie Bear has just completed his first overseas Atlantic transmission in the U.S. Are you getting this? Are you getting my transmission? I can't bear us live without this any longer. John, you've done it! Oh, you truly are smarter than the average bear. You see, with these big glasses alone, we could have worldwide television. In three dimensions! Three dimensional! John Wilkie Bear continued his pirate journey through television and began his descent into stardom, and he could barely believe it. Hey! After more than 20 years of working on TV systems, it was finally decided that John Logie Baird had outlived his usefulness, and he was forcibly retired to his newer job. I'm sorry, John, but the negatives outweigh the positives. Your system is just too big for our company. But you've got to keep using them. What will I do? Where will I go? Well, a few friends of mine are looking to launch a new studio. You can call them Han and Barbara. It may take a long time, but you're guaranteed a spot. I think it's called Yogi Bear or something. And so with the system rejected by the BBC for the Marconi EMI system, his career finally started to slow down. John Yogi Bear changed his name to John Yogi Bear, and along with his brother Guru, left civilization at the comforts of Jellystone National Park to await the day in the future when Hanna Barbera would provide them with infinite picnic baskets. At very least, we can take comfort in the fact that John Yogi Bear is now always with Boo Boo, and he'll always be happy just that way, even if no one will remember that he invented television, and the fact that he's forced to live in a park, and forced to steal picnic baskets in order to survive. <laughs>